Hello, it's me, and I'm going to take our 180 degree uh, Rubik's um, solve to the next level. We did a 4x4 last time. What about a 4x4 super cube? Well, why not? We did the 3x3 super cube. How about this? And the answer is, yeah, sure. Anything that you can scramble within a certain parameter, you can solve within a certain parameter. But because this is a super cube, we have to learn the different rules that apply. Now, it's tempting to think, well, it's just like the 4x4, or it's just like the 3x3 super cube, as you recall. When we did the parity algorithms there, it caused effects over here and here with the 3x3. It also caused rotation of our center here and here. With the 4x4, it's only going to cause swapping of these two, but not these two. What about the centers? How is this going to be affected? Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and do the parity algorithm that we learned to see how that's going to affect it. So it's 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u. So indeed, these two did get swapped. These two weren't touched. But you can see that this and this is now backwards. This orange one is, uh, is that orange or red? Yeah, what do you think? Anyway, this is supposed to be facing up. This got turned. So this did rotate 180 degrees. What about this one? Uh, what about this one? Uh, well, the green is facing down, so this did not get rotated, like the 3x3 three three version. What about the one next to it? No, this is where it needs to be. What about here? Uh-oh, this got rotated. So we have a different rule. Could we have figured that out just based on the structure? Well, possibly, but I know I couldn't. So unless you actually run the experiment, it's hard to say exactly what's going to happen. But with the 3x3 version, this rotated and this rotated. With the 4x4 version, this rotated and this rotated. So we have to bear that in mind because it's going to have effects on how we're going to solve the puzzle. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and do our 180 degree scramble and see how we can navigate our way through this one. Hocus pocus. Okay, so everything looks all messed up over here. So what's going to be our technique with this one too? Maybe mess it up a little bit more here. Well, we're going to pattern it after the same, the same way. So the first thing that I would do is we'll do edge pairing. Normally we do that after we get the centers, but because we're not sure what center goes where, we're going to do edge pairing first, and then we'll decide where things are going to be based on where the corners are. So in other words, we're going to calibrate the puzzle. So same thing as last time. Here's the red and blue. Red and blue is right over here. So we move that twice and turn that in. So all of these should be edge paired. Now remember, we want to be careful to not get a crisscross pattern like we have here, but let's see what happens. Maybe it'll all just kind of wash itself out. So this belongs over here. One, two, one, two. So these are all edge paired as well. What do we have left? Now we've got this side left over here. These two are of the same color. So one, two, and one, two. Okay, so we've edge paired, so we're good. We don't have any crisscrosses. If we did, I went through how to, how to get through that one. Now it's a question of where are our centers supposed to be so that they can um, match in association with each other. Well, here's my thinking with that. Now before we had to calibrate, we had to put our corners in so that we can decide where things are supposed to go. Now. Some of you may have noticed something interesting. When I did a lot of the mods, the 4x4 mods, we ended up with this interesting parity of corners. And what we had to do is we had to make sure that we put our corners in first to decide the specific orientation of the, of the centers. To understand what I'm talking about, go ahead and see the uh, four-layer ultramorphics um, tutorial, but uh, you know also others such as the hexagonal die pyramid. In this particular puzzle, we don't run into that. And we don't run into that because we have something that helps orient us. So because of that, I don't have to work on the centers. I know this is going to be blue or green, and it doesn't matter which one it is, because the very next one, the stripes, tell me what the next one is supposed to be. So basically, I'm going to say, well, let's make this green. I bequeath this to be green. So let's do a parity algorithm that brings this to here. So 2u, 2r. 2f, 2u, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u. Okay, so that's fine, and that's fine. All right, because of the orientation of this, 
I'm going to say, okay, this is facing here with a white out over here, so I'm going to say this is white. Now this isn't facing the right way, so I'm just going to say bang. So now I know this is supposed to be white. So same thing, I'm going to do the parity algorithm from this to this. So 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u. All right, so looking pretty good. We'll move this here, we'll move this here, and this matches here because this green stripe is facing here, this blue stripe is facing here. So I'm only using this one because this is like your archetypic supercube. Everything has a very specific orientation. So this one is obviously going to be the purple one as purple is facing up with all of these. So I'm going to be moving in the purple one here. This one is going to be swapped with this one. 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u, and we've got it. So I didn't have to use my corners this time because these guided me the way the corners um, guided me before. Now, occasionally there's a situation where you're going to see these not in quite the right position. That would be a situation like this. If you notice, we've got the two blues here. I don't know if you can see it here, but these colors, these stripes aren't the same and these stripes aren't the same. So if I were to swap this, uh, this green with this, uh, it's not going to work out because we're going to end up with four of these that don't look uh, um, appropriate, that, that don't look proper. So what I'm going to do then is instead of swapping these two, I'm going to swap it from this angle, so I'm going to swap these two. And the reason that I'm doing that is I have to match this, the colored stripes together. So I'm going to do it from here to U, to R, to F, to U, to U, to F, to R, to U. Now notice we have kind of a crisscross pattern here, but that's okay. And I'm going to move back to here and do it again. And that way when I do that, the screen will be plopped down to here. Because it, it not only does a parity swap, it actually flip-flops. That's something that you wouldn't know unless you have a, a super cube. So let's do it again. That way this will come down to here, and hopefully this yellow one will be lined up with this. 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2u, 2f, to R, to you, and there you have it. So now you've got these lined up, and now you can do what you've got to do. So green goes here, one, two, and I'll just put these two in. To you, to R, to F, to you, to you, to F, to R, to you. Okay, now that we've done that, we're basically going to proceed three by three supercube style and calibrate our centers with each other. So if I put the green on top, green stripe here, this green stripe has to be moved to the top here. So one, two. This is already on top. This has to be moved to the top. One, two. So we're good here. Red has to be facing the other way here. Purple is down here. So one, two. So this is calibrated down over here. One, two. Okay, so that's that's all calibrated there. Now, something that stands out is uh, something that stands out here is notice this actually is not uh, uh, in the proper configuration. Let's say all of these were fine. The problem here. So the problem here is that this is, a, is supposed to be facing the white one. This is supposed to be facing the yellow one. So these two sides need to be swapped. So what happened is that when I skipped a step, I skipped the corners being placed. The corners being placed were supposed to help guide me with that, but I don't really need to because I can use these stripes over here. So I just made a little miscalculation. So what I'm going to do is do a clean swap of these two. White's supposed to be here. Yellow is supposed to be here. So let's swap these two. 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u. So that's in here, that's in here. Now I just swap these two. 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u. Okay, so that should be calibrated appropriately. Okay, so the next step now is we're going to go ahead and put our corners in. 
So if we put, once again, the green on top, this, these two are where they need to be. Are they? Nope. Yeah, actually, these two are where they need to be, but they're not correlated with this over here. You can see that the this needs to be turned like so. So now with this, we'll just go ahead and put all of our centers up where they're supposed to be. So green is facing all this, yellow is here, red is here, and this is facing the right way as well. So we've got our centers um, correlated. Now what about our corners? Well, let's find the proper corner. Uh, here's a green, purple, and white. That's supposed to go over to here. So again, I can't just turn it like this because if I do that, I'm gonna mess up the center. So we're gonna do the super cube strategy. Go one, two, move this down, one, two, move this in, one, two. So now this is properly matched up, and then move it in, one, two. Now the way that this is configured is you're gonna get the next one just happening to be where it's supposed to be. So, so now you can see that this is here. So now what about the next one? How about the uh, it's not this one, it's the other green and purple, which is right over here. So what I'm going to do to get this in place over here, I'm going to move it from this side. So we'll go one, two, one, two, one, two, so that this is lined up, and then one, two. All right, so these are all in. And we've got this part over here. And we just have to correlate it with this center here. One, two, so I bring the green stripe down. So now we've got this over here. So we've got to correlate it with this. One, two, so I bring the green stripe down. One, two, to move it in, and one, two. Once I've done that, all of my corners should be in. One, two. All right, so good, and they should correlate with, with our centers. So this is now a calibrated puzzle. We'll just kind of check our work, where the centers are oriented appropriately, the corners are oriented appropriately. Now it's just a matter of placing the edges here. We ha just have to realize the rules of engagement that, yeah, we're not putting these out when we swap these, but we are rotating the centers. And because of that, because we realize that, we have to do some con deconstruction and reconstruction. So let's go ahead and see what kind of clean swaps we can make. Well, this can go over here, and this red can go over here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's quite where it wants to be. But it doesn't really matter um, at this point. What I'm looking to see if there's... Uh, well, here's, here's an example of what I'm talking about. Here's the purple and green. If I move this over here, that'll be a pretty clean swap. It's where it needs to be. Now this blue and red stripe area isn't going to be where it needs to be, but it's a good start. So we'll go ahead and do our algorithm. 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U. So this was swapped here. Now this turned 180 degrees. This one and this one. We just have to bear that in mind. So now what? Well, what needs to move into here? This uh, Don't let this fool you. This is actually rotated, so this isn't re uh, actually where it's supposed to be, even though it looks like it. The one that is, I suspect, is going to be... Well, it's not over here. And that's probably this one. So this one it needs to come over to here. So watch what I'm going to do. This is the deconstruction that I'm going to do. This piece over here needs to come... over here. So this needs to come here, and this needs to come here. So what I'm going to do to deconstruct it is I'm going to do a 2B, and then move it into here. What that's going to do is it's going to swap these, I'm going to reconstruct it back, and these will all be fixed. 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U. Now immediately reconstruct it back. On 2. The end result is this got rotated back, these are all in, this is all in, and the evil plan worked. Look at that. So we've got all, all of these guys in. So now let's see what else we can do here. Well, I kind of like this white coming to here and this yellow coming to here. Is it the right color? It isn't, but that's okay for now, unless I can find something that'll fit the bill. How about this? Because this is blue and white, 
which will find a nice home over here. This is green and yellow, which will find not quite so nice a home, but it's a start. 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U. We like where this is over here. This got rotated and this got rotated. I'm gonna be applying the same strategies now. So what needs to happen? Well, ultimately I want this to come over here and this to come over here. It would be a clean um, sweep, so to speak, if I do it in this position. This will be rotated correctly, but this will be rotated incorrectly, as will this be. So I'll have two opposites that are rotated incorrectly. So another way that I can maybe um, provide that function is if I do the same thing. Took this, do a 2B and a 2R. All I needed to do is swap these two. It doesn't matter what perspective, because when I move this back, it'll be properly configured. 2U, 2R, 2F. 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U, immediately reconstruct it back, boom, and bang. And it worked. So these are all in here too. So we're just going to keep using that strategy. Um, purple to purple, red to red. They're the wrong colors because they're supposed to be white. So maybe, maybe we've got another one to do this. This one is all in. This is all in. Okay, so obviously this and this look pretty good. Well, it really doesn't matter at this point because all of them are gonna be a little out. So let's go ahead and do that and swap these two. So at least they're close to where they're uh, by the same color. 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U. So these two did indeed get swapped. Now what can I do to put things put things right? Well, how about swapping these two? This can very comfortably be swapped with this over here, and this can come here. It doesn't like to be there, but at least I'll, I can put this in and get our two centers back. So same thing. I'm going to do a 2B and a 2L, and then immediately do the algorithm, and then move it back. 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U, then do a 2L and a 2B. Everything got swapped back. This is where it needs to be. So now I just have these guys to deal with. So let's see. This will be a clean swap over here. This will be a not so clean swap over here because it wants to be with the white one and not the yellow one, but that's okay. This will move this into place. 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, to you. So that's where it needs to be. Now we just have these two. So you already know what I'm going to do. These two need to be swapped. I want to do it from this perspective so I can move these back in. So 2B, 2L, and do it. 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U. Reconstruct it back, and it's done. So we'll just check our work. Green, 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 green purple, blue. So there you have it. That's how you do a super cube just with 180 degree turns. So I give the same challenge. Go ahead and get your four layered super cubes, your four layered mods. And just by bending your perspective a little bit, you can do this with the ultra morphing. So you can do this with whatever you want. You should be able to apply exactly the same thing. So hope that helped. Thanks for watching.